Now available on your home screen. Three generations of estranged women struggle with decades of unresolved conflicts in season two of the time-traveling family drama, The Way Home, featuring Andy McDowell. I miss the past and I can't stop thinking about it. I want to build back our relationship. I want that too. At the beginning of season one, um, Kat receives a letter from Del, her mother, saying, why don't you come home? And so she picks up and moves her teenage daughter, Alice, to Port Haven. That letter is what, what brings them together and starts unfolding this um, saga of trying to figure out what actually happened to Jacob. Mom, I think I know what happened to Jacob. Jacob? At the end of season one, we realize there's still some hope left for finding Jacob. Kat has an idea of where he might be, and season two actually picks up right from where we left off. I'm in a portrait that was painted 200 years ago. This is what's going to lead you to Jacob. She kind of comes to this really great discovery about the real potential of her being able to find Jacob. These fields have been in this family for generations. That's not gonna change. I feel like Del has put on a suit of armor um, because she's lost everyone. She lost her husband, she lost her son, she lost her daughter, she never got her granddaughter. So I think that uh, strength comes from severe loneliness. I think underneath it all, she's a very lonely soul. I you didn't want to be involved. Seriously, Ellie, are you in or are you out? There's also just things about the pond and the way that it works and the way that where it can send you and what it's capable of um, that are unexpected and unfamiliar. And so there is kind of a dark side, but at the same time, it adds a really um, an interesting layer of an adventure. Andy McDowell, she coined a really great like phrase for it. It's like spicier. What have you done? Where's my mom? It's the kind of show you have to pay attention, right? And it, it asks a certain amount of investment from the audience. And the reward they get for that investment is that they really get to feel into the show and feel the characters and feel like they're connected. I have some really strong, powerful moments as a 65-year-old woman that I think are interesting to see for other women my age. They'll be intrigued, I think. It will always take you where you need to go. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.